Tesla has finally revealed when the semi will be available for mass order, when people can just start, you know, placing an order on the Tesla website because you can't do that at the moment. Basically, they're saying mass production of the semi is going to happen on this specific date. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. The semi is so, so incredibly important to electrification of the entire industry. Uh, trucking, semis, goods movement makes up a huge amount of global emissions and unfortunately a pretty bad amount because, you know, semis almost never use gasoline. Gasoline is not good, but it's better than diesel. Diesel fumes, uh, well, they're what cause the worst, the worst levels of cancer. So you do not want to breathe in diesel. There are some people here in Australia, in fact, there's a big thing here in Australia to remove the, basically what you know is a catalytic converter. There's like the DPF filter. Um, a lot of people here in Australia remove those filters. And what that does is that means you are literally breathing in those chemical causing fumes uh, and a lot of them. So if you're stupid enough to do that and you get cancer at some point later in life, I don't think anyone's going to feel all that sorry for you because basically you chose to breathe those fumes in yourself. But what the great thing is, is many truck companies are going electric. So Tesla, to be honest, they are a little slow to this because there's other companies now who have taken up the slack. Uh, people can order electric trucks from Volvo, from MAN, from numerous car companies worldwide. And what this means is Tesla is probably under a little bit of pressure to get the semi out. Tesla have given a timeline on when the semi will be officially launched, when they'll be doing mass manufacturing for the semi. It's late 2025 to early 2026. Basically, they're saying a about a three month period, a three month time frame between November to about the start of February. That's when the semi will be available for order, when mass production will be happening. Where's mass production? Well, it's in Nevada. Tesla has been utilizing the expertise of Pepsi. Pepsi purchased Tesla semis and they were testing them. They've actually found amazing results. They've been getting around 500 miles of range. I don't think anyone expected that. That's a really impressive number. So Tesla have been testing with Pepsi the real world range. Not only that, they've also been testing Tesla's one megawatt fast chargers, how well they work, um, how, you know, realistically, how fast will they charge the semi? And I think people have been quite surprised at how good they are. The other thing people are surprised by is this. A lot of truck drivers are used to driving a, a diesel powered truck. These guys have driven the semi and they've said, you know what? I don't want to be in that diesel truck anymore. Please put me in the semi. Please put me in an electric truck. It is so much easier to drive. It gets up hills. Um, you know, you don't feel like you're a danger to traffic. It's got plenty of torque. Um, it's so easy to see out of. Lots of drivers have said this. Drivers have given some amazingly positive feedback. I haven't seen any negative feedback. If there was any, hopefully you would hear about it, but yeah, I haven't heard any. On Tesla's Q1 2024 earnings call, they revealed that our first vehicles are planned for late 2025 and for external customers beginning you know, late 2025, very, very early 2026. So it's not an exact date, but it's a pretty good time frame for when the semi will be mass produced. So what's held up production? Well, Tesla wants an affordable, efficient manufacturing process. Tesla can make as many as they want right now. There's nothing really stopping them from making them, but they need an efficient production line. They don't have that. So they're doing what some companies do. Some companies don't build them on efficient production lines. They really don't. I've been to their factories. I worked at one of them, uh, one that builds them for Kenworth. So they actually just sort of have all these different processes and slap them together. But Tesla's like, no, no, no. We need to make a profit on this vehicle. Uh, we want to mass manufacture them. We need a, f a specific production line. And they also need to be able to be putting 4680 batteries in them. LG Kemp, they say that they will be producing in August of this year, the 4680 battery cell. So Tesla won't just have their own production. They'll soon have LG Kemp. You can add to that Panasonic. Panasonic will be producing 4680 cells. By 2025, the end of 2025, Tesla will have battery production coming from LG Chem, from Panasonic and their own 4680 battery cell production. Therefore, that will enable them to put in the massive, massive battery packs that the semi needs. Here's what Tesla said. So we're finalizing the engineering of the semi to enable a super cost effective high volume production with our learnings from our fleet and pilot fleet and Pepsi's fleet, which were expanding this year marginally. 
In parallel, as we showed in the shareholders deck, we have started construction on the factory in Reno. So Tesla don't plan on mass producing any semis this year. They're saying, no, no, we can't really do this efficiently, cost efficiently until the end of next year. But I believe Tesla are aiming for 400,000 semis, 400,000 per year. Don't think so, but Tesla has given us a number of 400,000 vehicles. I mean, realistically per year, Tesla might be aiming for something closer to 200,000. That's a massive number, but Tesla don't really have a lot of competition in one segment, and that is providing 500 miles of range in your semi. There's actually no other semis currently available that give you that kind of range. So Tesla is saying, you know, if we can produce these, sell them at around 200,000 US dollars each, we can make you a lot of savings because you can realistically replace your long haul trucks with a Tesla semi, and that will enable you to save enormous amounts of money. When I say enormous amounts of money, estimates are this. Estimates are actually pretty crazy. They're not from Tesla, by the way. They're from other experts. Other experts are saying that you could pay back the price of your Tesla Semi in less than two years just on fuel savings. Just on the savings on fuel, you can pay it back in less than two years. Now, some experts are saying one year, but anyway, let's just stick with the two years. One year sounds a bit too optimistic. It's possible though, but two year payback would you really want to buy a diesel truck if you can pay back your electric one in two years and buy another one, pay back in two years, buy another one, pay back in two years? See, there's a huge cost advantage to having an electric truck. The other thing is servicing is much, you almost have nothing to service. Very, very minimal servicing. With a diesel truck, a diesel semi, the servicing costs are astronomical. I've talked to a few different truckies, a few different you know truck drivers. They say the servicing cost is massive. You literally have to rebuild the engine after you've done a few hundred thousand miles with a semi. You're going to be looking at the battery packs lasting, I would say at least 400,000 miles. We know that because there's heaps of Tesla vehicles now that have done 300,000 plus miles with no problems with their batteries. The only reason they haven't done more than 400,000, by the way, some have. There is a few Tesla Model Ys have done more than 400,000. It's just because they haven't been around long enough. They've only been on sale since late 2017. So you would have to drive an insane amount of miles yet to exceed that figure. But we know the Tesla battery packs are not what's failing in Teslas. It's basically people saying, you know what? This vehicle reached the end of its life. It's gone a long distance and it's time for a new car. That's pretty much what's happening. Tesla showed the land where the semi-production facility will be and the progress of the construction recently. They broke ground on the site in January, announcing a $3.6 billion project, which was a year ago. They announced that actual project. But this, this is huge. To be spending $3.6 billion on this factory, it's not just for semis, by the way, it's for producing batteries as well. That's an enormous investment. And I think the efficiency of Tesla's production will be unrivaled. No one will be making electric trucks at this scale with this kind of efficiency, with this kind of range as well. That's gonna be a huge growth story for, for Tesla. So if you're thinking, well, Tesla's just about batteries or cars or whatever, it is worth considering the superchargers and also worth considering the semi, this will be a huge growth pillar for Tesla. They want to take over the, basically they're saying we want to take over the, the majority of truck sales in America. Is that going to happen? Of course not. But yeah, they're going to take a, a huge slice, disrupt a huge slice of that market. The semi is one of the most important products for Tesla, but not only for Tesla, also for the world. Because, you know, once Tesla starts making these, the competition, they'll really, really wake up and they'll want to compete. They'll make something really good as well and then we're going to see the trucking sector electrify at an incredibly fast pace which is just great news for everyone thank you for watching